let's talk about our second main topic, which Madison has this covered. Let's talk about dogs. Let's talk about dogs, yo. That's my favorite topic. Okay, so <laughs> uh, as many of you know, truck drivers, um, it's a lonely, it's a lonely uh, job out there, right? You guys are by yourselves most of the time, um, traveling between 6 to 12, 14 hours a day, depending on your regulations and stuff. So you are out there by yourself, and some guys and gals really enjoy having a pet with them. And the prime candidate for that has to be a dog, right? Right. Absolutely. Yeah, I would think so. So we have this article up. What is the name of the website that we're getting this from, Madison? Um, Factor Finders. Factor Finders. I have no idea what that is. Not really sure either. Um, um, they're just kind of talking here, though, about... Uh, why don't you go ahead and read it for us, Madison? ...what you should know for trucking with a dog. So starting off, uh, I thought this was an interesting fact. Uh, Jack and I were looking at this earlier, but 40% of truck drivers already take their pets on the road with them. 40%. 40%. Or According chimpanzees, to this article. if you're BJ and the bear. True. Correct. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we should exactly. have talked. See? See, that, there's it our ties pets. in. Yeah. Monkeys. Yeah. Ties <laughs> in, monkeys, dogs. If, if you know anybody that keeps a monkey in their truck, please, please, let us please know. comment. Can they stop by Jack's Chrome Shop? Because <laughs> I would love to meet a monkey. I don't know, man. Monkeys <laughs> scare me. They are a little, They're a little interesting. Bit much. Yeah. <laughs> but as far as dogs, too, if you uh, if you truck with your dog, please put it in the comments. Uh, yes. Maybe a picture. Uh, we'd love to see that, uh, too. Definitely a picture. Yeah. But you said 40% of drivers have a dog with him? Already, yep. Oh, wow. Okay. Yep, yep. So what do we need to know? We need to know a couple things. So this article, um, what I liked about it is it kind of breaks it down um, into what you, the best ways to prepare if you are wanting to have a dog or if you already have a dog. This might be some helpful tips. Um, so basically, they kind of break it down here, uh, what kind of dog you should get. So short-haired dogs, obviously, would be preferred um unless you're wanting to clean up pet hair in your truck um for the rest of time for the rest of your life like because it literally gets in everything and on and in every crevice um i highly recommend a short um short-haired dog uh also they recommend no bigger than 50 pounds which is pretty large for a truck i feel like even i would probably recommend maybe even a smaller dog than that but yeah i, I mean Depends. Definitely no Great Danes. It depends on your, your sleeper setup, too, I think. True. Um, if you're running a 36-inch flat-top sleeper, then probably small dogs would be best. But if you're running, like, a studio... Yeah, an 86-inch studio on right. a Kenworth, yeah, yeah, I think that you could probably put keep whatever. A, a bigger dog in yeah. there. A I, Great Dane? I don't know if... Sure. Can I bring Maybe? cash? Because I don't know if you... Matt, I don't, know, I don't know if you've seen these trucks before, but some guys have these huge... I mean, they're custom sleepers that are probably 100 plus inches long. I have seen some photos, never in person, but Yeah, they're I mean, rare, but yeah. That's... I mean, I do live in an apartment and have a Great Dane, so it probably wouldn't be that much different. Um, yeah. But it also does make sure that you want to have plenty of space for them to have their water and their yeah. food and all other um, pet necessities that they're going to need on the road as well. Um, it also recommends maybe like a lazier breed or per perhaps like an older dog um, would maybe be good, which also like a lot of older dogs really need adopted in shelters. Yeah. So that would be a really good pairing. Maybe. I feel like having a puppy in your truck would be p the worst possible situation ever. Yeah. You know, Agreed. Agreed. Just going around all over the place and getting into things. And, um, you know, it talks in the article about uh, training the dog to uh, steer clear of your clutch and your brake. Yes, I was just about to get into that. So that's that's definitely important because, you know, safety is the prime concern of drivers everywhere. So right. if you're going to have something that like a dog that uh, doesn't understand, you know, obviously the mechanics of the truck. Don't put it near your feet. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Pet proof your truck. And that's that brings us into yeah. our next topic here is that's obviously a huge thing. If you're going to be having a pet, um, it does say. Um, some helpful tips here to pet proof your truck. So like Jack was saying, train them if you can <laughs> to stay away from your brakes and your clutch area um, and obviously your feet. Um, and also try to create um, like a designated designated spot in your truck that's just for your dog. Just the doge? Yes. Doge area? Yes. Um, always keep water available for them and also uh, store your um, important and valuables away from them, which all of this is kind of just common sense. Yeah. But when you're working with a smaller space, you are going to have to be more careful about where you put stuff because there's it's, not as it's much more space accessible, to get yeah. away. It's yeah. way <laughs> more accessible for a dog to kind of just mosey along and Chew Definitely. shit up, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Um, and then this is just talking about some tools that you might want to bring for dogs. Uh, a lot of this is common sense as well, but bring them some toys, uh, maybe a leash and some treats. A crate would be probably uh, 
pretty helpful. If you can I would, fit it, yeah. Yeah, if you can fit that. Again, this is all going to depend on what your sleeper situation is. If you're home, Correct. if you're home every night and you're just doing day runs or whatever, you can bring your dog with you and not have to worry about it. As long as they're just sitting there on the passenger seat or whatever, it's no big deal. If right. you're a, if you know if you're running a show truck or something like that, you probably don't want a dog in there. But for most of you fleet guys in there, there are a bunch of rules um, out there for from fleets that is that uh, that has to deal with pets in their trucks so yeah, that's specific yeah. breeds or yep. weight requirements and things like that yeah i spoke right. with a uh, is there breeds or something like that on there that yeah they okay. um I w- yeah i was gonna get to that too as well um it kind of talks about like some breeds they suggest might be um good uh jack and i were laughing at a bulldog was what he immediately thought of and kind me too kind of they're they seem like they'd be the perfect trucker companion. especially if you're driving a mac i mean you, yeah. know, you gotta have yeah. a bulldog yeah, in the bulldog, bulldog. Yeah. yes Absolutely. Um, definitely keep all vaccination records like what um, Dave was saying. Like there's certain requirements if you are going to be traveling with your animal uh, like interstate or, you know, all across the nation. Like you're going to need to have like their vaccination um, records. And there's also something called a CVI that we looked it up and it's like a certification of veterinary inspection. And if you're wanting to go like across the country with your dog, you yeah, have to have important. one of those. So. Yeah. The other thing is when you're going to be on the road, if your dog like gets sick or something like that, you right. have to make sure you know where the veterinarian is or the nearest veterinarian is. So definitely, I think that's important. Um, but bulldog was number one. What are some other ones on their medicine? Um, we have pug, pit bull, lab, uh, chihuahua. Some of these yeah. are really, really small dogs, and I think that those... I think... I, I don't know. I, I think having a small dog in your bunk would just drive me crazy, or it would drive any driver crazy. Like A real yappy just, one is pro- I wouldn't yep, yep, recommend, yep, 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 yep. yeah. Yeah, just, it's, just going after it. When yeah. I was a kid, we were in a, visiting my grandparents in California, and my dad... Uh, we, we picked up a, a chihuahua um, oh God. A puppy, and my dad carried the chihuahua in his shirt pocket Aww. The basically the entire trip back home dozens yeah yeah, dozens of hours poor little fluffer on the road was it just going crazy the whole time no no not that i remember just sleeping in his pocket that is pretty pretty cute cute, i just think like a chihuahua they're naturally just high strung i feel like you would have to have a certain kind of personality to deal with a chihuahua doing laps around your sleeper right yeah (laughs) and that's that's one critique i do have of this article it says like up at the top that you might want to pick a lazier breed or a uh, older dog well I don't think that chihuahuas are necessarily a lazy. lazy. Yeah, or yeah. like some of the, some of the dogs. I think they get worse ones, with age, right? Like I think chihuahuas, as they get older, they get more barky. It seems like it. Um, like I said, my boyfriend's family actually just got like a chihuahua mix puppy, and yeah. it's just it's, it's kind of a yapper, yeah, yeah, and it tries to take on my Great Dane. So <laughs> yeah, I, I think that uh, you know a bulldog or a pit bull would be a really good um, option for anybody who might want to uh, discourage other people from for sure with the other thing too. is safety yeah Absolutely. i was gonna say like you can there's a i don't know how many protection different i mean we just talked about one i don't know if the dog could right. have protected them there but i've heard of multiple cases where uh you know people are stabbed beaten up at truck stops or whatever and i mean there are some truck stops out there that are very very rough and maybe having a dog with you might be a deterrent for someone breaking into your your truck to either steal it or harm you or or steal your load or i mean i don't even know there's a plenty of different reasons out there that people do nefarious things right so maybe a dog it would help solve your loneliness and also protect you plus i mean if you if you do get a bulldog you can teach it how to skateboard as well yes right yes we we were trying to decide okay, if we had all bulldogs about earlier. know how to skateboard or if they're just the ones that Listen, are shown on the videos that this is see. how you break it down okay just because all bulldogs <laughs> Or all no, all dogs that can skate are bulldogs. Does not mean that all bulldogs can skate. There you go. Yeah, yeah, that I, is that's, true. We're not stereotyping here at Jax. No. We are not. Truckers but. against predators. Thank you for join us, joining us. Oh, and, there you go. And uh, here's another one. Uh, get a dog, and it might eat a predator. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, really, it could. Get a bulldog. That'll work. Possibly, yeah. He has a, yeah, Taylor has a dog named Glock. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. a cute name. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> I think it, I don't think it's a dog. Oh, okay. Oh. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I think it's a gun. Okay, but Taylor. Taylor can, yeah, could you please? Yeah, <laughs> is it a gun or do you actually have a dog named Glock? Because I do know people that have named like I have. I have a friend named uh, or ha- that has a dog named Kimber, and Kimber is a uh, firearm manufacturer. Yeah. So I mean, get a dog, call it Remington, and just call it Remy. 
That would be That's cute. a good name. I yeah. Like okay. That, yeah. Jack has good ideas sometimes. I like that. Occasionally. <laughs> Occasionally. Very rarely. But uh, they're all related to dogs too. Yes. That's all yeah. my good ideas. I mean, what's the downside? I can't think of any. The, the only downsides would be this: you would have to take them ev- out every single time that they have to shit, which NP, which would suck. Yes. Um, and don't get a puppy, or you will ha- not have anything nice for the rest of your life. Well, and Dachshund is on the list. And right. I think that's one of the worst dogs because they pee whenever they're excited. They're just, Whenever. I mean, you know, they, my, I've had a, a couple of dachshunds, or my, my family yeah. has, and uh, yeah, every time you come home, just everywhere. all over the floor. <laughs> I feel everywhere. like a lot of those little dogs are have that same issue, so. Yeah, yeah I think they just get so excited, they're just like, Ugh. Yeah, I, I think that what I liked is that, like, the bulldog and the pit bull and even the lab are all kind of, like, what I'd call a medium-sized dog, and mm-hmm. I think that they tend to be... Pro- what I would pick for sure because they're not too small that yeah. you're going to get that yappy and then maybe tinkling. I think you have to go for a, to go for a medium sized dog. Yeah. yeah. Or even, th- a, even a boxer would be a good a one. A boxer, yeah. They have kind of a lot of energy though, I yeah. feel like. Yeah, and get an but, older boxer. Yeah. And, right, um, for sure. Taylor says that he doesn't, uh, he says no real dog, just Glock. So he does have a dog named Glock. There you go. Nice. All right, mm, fair enough. Interesting. Maybe we'll do like a dog submission or whatever. Cutest yes. dog wins so a prize like I don't know, um, next yeah. week or something like that. Maddie's yeah. already excited about it. <laughs> I love it. But uh, yeah, They're I think all the, they all win. <laughs> <laughs> what, what else do you have for us, Maddie? Um, those just, are all the breeds, right? Yes, those okay. are all the breeds. Um, just one last thing, like kind of like how we were talking. Uh, there's a lot of different um, benefits that you can have like to having a dog. So this just kind of talks about um, some things that it can do to benefit truckers. Um, it keeps them happy and healthy. I definitely I think agree so, yeah. with that. I, I definitely think, I think psychological health is a yeah. really important thing for drivers being alone so much. And so having yeah. a companion, it really, and it really does change you. And it even, I mean, it talks about here, dogs are proven to relieve stress. Um, just, just 15 minutes spent with a dog can improve your mood. People with depression are less likely to have an episode, a depressive episode while living with a dog. Like, wait, how I, much lower? It doesn't say exactly, just less likely. Oh, less likely, okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, it also, they encourage a more active lifestyle, which could I be a benefit so. I think, if you're I think trying it makes to... You, yeah, I think it makes you get out of your truck yeah. and it makes you go do things because you have to or your dog's going to shit all over your I truck. I mean, yeah, you're, you're going to live with the consequences if you decide that you want to be lazy and not take them out. But uh, Taylor says he doesn't actually have a real dog named Glock. He just has a Glock in his truck, so. So don't mess we with Taylor. We relied to, yeah. He has a, a gun, Taylor, dog. Would you rather have a gun or a dog? I don't know you, but I have issues now. <laughs> yeah. I do tend don't to pet my guns, and I, t- I take them for walks. And do you take your guns for walks? <laughs> Put yeah, it on do a leash. I do. Yeah. <laughs> God. <laughs> you guys. Oh, man. So, um, Truckers Against Predators says he has a goldfish, and actually his blue healer goes with me everywhere. See? There's See, one right there. Blue he- healer, I feel like, would maybe... That'd be a good one, yeah. They, I feel like, are pretty hyper as well, but if they were... They're easy to train, I feel like, so you could probably... And they're a good size. Yeah, I think it, perfect I think they're size, perfect really. size. Yeah, so that's I a great idea. I think an Australian Shepherd would be really good because you can uh, you can train Australian Shepherds to do uh, pretty much whatever. And so or if you could train a dog to do all of your work for you, like sit in the cab and just like <laughs> yeah, like, like have your your load ratchet papers. down your loads. Yeah, and like have your like load papers in its mouth or whatever, and walk to the fill yeah. out your bols and everything. Exactly. Yeah, that would be super helpful. Possibility. But yeah, so basically to kind of wrap this up, um, make sure before you adopt a dog or before you just bring your dog with you that your um, company or whoever uh, you're trucking for allows that uh, because that could definitely pose some issues. And like we were talking about earlier, safety is the number one thing here. So I think that's a big Um, that's why nobody wants a dog dying in their truck. Nobody wants a dog causing a mess in a company truck. Right. Nobody wants. I mean, the mess is the biggest problem, right? They are animals. Yeah, I so, mean that's the biggest disadvantage, I think. I know a lot of companies don't let allow pets, um, but I have met a couple people at truck shows that do have dogs, and their companies have allowed them to have pets because of different reasons. So I actually met this pug um, at the oh. uh, the Buckeye Invitational Truck Show. Um, that was on the list too for yeah. recommended breeds, and by the way. It had its own ramp that would go up into the. Oh, I saw photos of that. I remember you showed me. Yeah, it was, uh, I can't remember her name, but it was a nice lady, um, and she was a fleet driver, and uh, her little pug would just walk down the ramp and then walk back up the ramp. That is hilarious. Yeah, it was was crazy. That is so funny. Cute, cute little dog. Um, I don't like pugs because they're ugly, but. (laughs) (laughs) They're so ugly, they're cute. They are so ugly, they're cute. That's how I feel. I can't. Bulldogs are the same way. I mean, you get those those, uh, small snouts, and it's the jowls. 
Um, just, underbites. <laughs> completely useless as a dog. I was in the company of a pug yesterday, and they get the, these diaphragm spasms mm-hmm. um, that occasionally they're like, arr, arr. yeah, and you know they, they're. <laughs> Them and bulldogs also snore while they're awake. Yeah, because their faces... They're just constantly they like, like... They look like the predator from, you know, like... Oh, David. It's, I'm surprised they don't have, like, those little, like, jaw things go... <laughs> <laughs> they're so not they're predators. They are predators. I, 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 I also babies. like how uh, sometimes bulldogs get that underbite. Yeah. Yes. And they, the bottom teeth are jutting out. And yes. It's adorable. Yep. That's right. Paul French has a great Dane. Alan <gasps> and uh, he, yeah, he, I saw it at the Buckeye show, actually. So Alan he has a great the, Dane. Yeah. He's the one who has the black and white Harlequin one that you have the photos of? Probably from the Buckeye show. Oh, my gosh. Alan and Sierra uh, have, um, they have, um, Alan, what kind of dogs do you have? I know you guys have uh, dogs that you bring with you. And Taylor um, and his wife, Cherie, have uh Let's see. What did Taylor say? They have two two sh- <laughs> Shih Tzu dogs, Riley and that was is also it, is a recommended. Shih Tzu or Shih Tzu? I'm I, I'm it's, messing it, it up. It is Shih Tzu. Whatever. Okay, <laughs> their names are Riley and Charlie, and Aww. they both get treated like royalty. And uh, as they should. Yeah, I fix them a plate each at dinner. Oh my god, that's how same. nice he is. There you go. Same. <laughs> Do you really? Sometimes, yes. <laughs> oh my god. All right. I'm trying to get uh, on a raw diet with Cashy. Oh yeah, because um. He's a big dog. So. That's right. <laughs> Alan has a dachshund. 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 Do- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but isn't it, um, but they pronounce it like, is it pronounced actually dachshund, like yeah. the way they spell it or whatever? Yeah. There's like, no X there. Yeah, dachshund, though. That's how you spell it. Who decided that? <laughs> it's it's a German word. Yes. Dachshund. All right. Well. Hund. I'm sure, I'm sure I'm sure that Jack's German. That's he's the one that needs to deal with that. Yeah. I'm just here for to look pretty and say things. That's all. And say things. Um but yeah, so uh and they're miniature border collies. Oh, home. Oh, Alan, your miniature border collie passed away? No, 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 no. I, have- I, I had a friend who had uh, two great Pyrenees named Jack and Jill. And Aww. uh did they go up a hill? I you, I would imagine at to one fetch. point in their lives. They they probably did do some fetching. But Great Pyrenees are great dogs because they yeah. are so laid back. I feel like, you know, they're huge and they're long hair, but I think that they would be a good choice. I think yeah, so, too. I've had you five. would know. I was going to say, <laughs> David has literally had so many. I've had five Great Pyrenees. Yep. Yeah. And great now dogs. we've got uh, the Apache. shop itself has Apache. Uh, he's a German Shepherd uh, idiot mix. And, uh, <laughs> he's sweet, though. Yeah, he's, he's half German Shepherd, half idiot. So, um <laughs> I wish he was in the office right now so I could show you, but uh, dogs are good. Bring them with you on your trucking drives. They'll make you happy, less depressed. It'll give you something to do, and in your downtime, you can play with your dog and bring a Frisbee. Yeah. yeah. Play fetch. That's a good time. Yeah. So there's Dogs Matter. Do you have anything else for us? That I mean, that pretty much About wraps doges. it up. Yep. That's basically it.